So the three words that I would say define darker music talks to me are informative. I find them very informative. Um, I also find them very inspiring in terms of meeting the people who are on the same journey as I am. And I also find the community that's building up um, really empowering as well. So inspiring, informative and community will be the three words that I'd say uh, define Darker Music Talks. I found out about Darker Music Talks via um, thornybleeder.com which is a website that is run by Brian Thompson who lives in Canada and I'm signed to the email list there and every day you get a, an email that has about, you know, between like sort of 20, 20 odd links to various different articles, inspirational talks, marketing information um, that's really good for someone who's really embarking on that independent musician journey, particularly online. And one of the articles was an article written by Tommy called The Musicpreneur and it was a three-piece article and I read the first piece and I just really liked it and I tweeted at him just to say I really liked him um, and he tweeted back and we actually met in person so I met Tommy via somebody that I've never actually physically met but here I am. I would recommend Darker Music Talks, I have recommended Darker Music Talks over the course of the talks I have brought various people here some of them come to all of them, some of them come to some of them, just depending on what the subject matter is. Um, I, I would say to anybody who is looking at how to actually work in the online space, it can be really overwhelming and if you look at it, it can, you can almost feel that there's too much information for you there and there is a lot of information. And, so, and, and all of it's relevant, but you want to streamline it and make sure that it's uh, succinct and it's actually specific to what you're trying to achieve. So I would recommend it in that if you're first coming into that kind of idea that you're going to do it yourself and you're going to be an independent musician, it's a good place to come and just speak to people who may have started or, or, or may, like yourself, be at the beginning. So you can, you can share that journey together. Yeah, today I was lucky enough to actually give a talk at um, one, of the, one of Tommy's talks. So that was a new experience for me because um, I did, in, in sort of starting doing what I'm, I'm doing, I didn't realise that I knew as much as I did until I'm speaking to other people who have not yet started. Um, and I think it was just because I, I kind of immerse myself in a subject when it's new to me, I kind of throw myself in until I can understand it um, and the way that I started to get to know about online marketing and understanding it was I watched hours of YouTube videos from various music marketers I signed up to lots of email lists of various music marketers and just general online marketers as well um, and a lot of webinars were happening, um, but I live in the UK and they usually happened in US time. So for the most part, I'd usually have to wake myself up like one or two o'clock in the morning to, to listen to a webinar and try and get the information from it. But over the course of time, I, I, I kind of got an idea and also started to understand the language and also the model of how to get people engaged online. And... As a, as a result, I realise I've actually taught myself a skill. And actually, as a result of that skill, I'm actually offering this service to other people as well now. So I actually work as a social media marketer for somebody already. So it taught me something that I can then actually use as a, as a source of income, another stream.